Jim? <laughs> Moonlight Warrior. He posted this on Twitter. And apparently John Krasinski is circling, playing around in the DC universe. Potentially might be playing a DCU character. Now, which DCU character that might be? Well, it's the most iconic, one of the most iconic superheroes of all time. That is Plastic Man. No, <laughs> just kidding. It's actually Batman. I know it's weird, but stick with me here is it weird though now i know john is most famously known for playing jim in the office a very comedic role but he's you know he's dipped in other toes he's played a much more you know uh badass character like the michael bay film 13 hours uh, where he played a soldier during the whole benghazi war i thought that was a really good film obviously he was jacked to the tits uh, sipping on that Dwayne Johnson steroid milkshake. Uh, he also played Jack Ryan. It's a great show on Amazon where he plays the CIA agent. Uh, I thought he's really good in that. Uh, obviously, he's directed A Quiet Place, part one, part two, and he's also directing this new one. Um, I thought he was really good in that. He played a family man and stuff like that. So I can imagine him playing a, a dad and those kids being, you know, young Barbara Gordon, young <laughs> young tim drake the bad family so there you go he's he's obviously you know well versed in, in that section um but yeah i don't i think john krasinski i think he would be an interesting choice i think john especially playing in the james gunn dc universe where where that universe is going to be much more fantastical is going to be uh, a little more a little bit more lighthearted it's going to be very very comic book accurate and i could see john play batman with this self-awareness with a little bit of humor dry humor but that but his humor won't take away from the essence of who bruce wayne who batman is obviously batman bruce wayne is a very damaged person and i could see john play that character but also add a little bit of a little bit of humor to it, a, a little bit of self-awareness and just, you know, but still retain who the character, still retain the essence of who Bruce Wayne and who Batman is. And obviously he has to look for it. I think John, he's like, what, six foot four, six foot five. He's really tall. He's in shape. Uh, he's a really good comedic actor and a very good dramatic actor. Obviously, obviously a very good director. And I could see him, I could see John fit way more in the James Gunn universe than I would with if he were to be in the Zack Snyder verse or the Matt Reeves verse, which is a very dark, very brooding Batman. And I think this Batman, the DCU Batman, is still gonna be dark and brooding, but it's gonna be a little bit, but it's gonna have a little more lighthearted tuneness. Uh, especially since you're adding Damian Wayne, which is gonna be like Damian Wayne is gonna be very hardcore. Uh, but I, I think John could pull it off. I think John could pull off the Bruce Wayne, and I think his Batman would be very interesting. Now, all that being said, uh, this is just rumors. This is just speculation. Nothing is confirmed. This is all just, you know, insider chit chat, like, you know, whispers, like, hey, I'm hearing this, I'm hearing that. Do -do 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 -do. You know, that bullshit. Um, is John Krasinski in the running to play Batman? Probably not. I don't know. Who knows? Um, would John be my first choice to play Batman? No. But if he were to play Batman, I think it's a very intriguing choice. I think he could pull it off. I think he could pull off uh, the charm of Bruce Wayne, but also the kick-ass action of Batman. I, th I think he could do it. I really do think he could do it. Again, if this were to be true, if this were to happen, it's uh, it's an intriguing choice for sure. And this is definitely, if, like, if this were to happen, if this were to be cast, this definitely feels more like a James Gunn casting than anyone else, right? Because who would have thought Michael Keaton would be Batman? Like, Michael Keaton's Batman, and he's awesome. Who would have thought Ben Affleck would be a great Batman? But guess what? He was a great Batman. Who would have thought Heath Ledger would be a great Joker? And guess what? Heath Ledger, to this day, is still the best Joker of all time. So, it's a, it's a, it's a intriguing choice, intriguing pick. But what do you think? I mean, if, if this were to happen, I'm on board. I'm on board. And as always... Hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, this is Ash Cheeks, and let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Would John Krasinski be a good 
DCU Batman for James Gunn's DC Universe? Would he pair well with David Corden Sweat Superman? I don't know. It, it'll be interesting. And, Jane, and John uh, Krasinski is also 43 years old. Uh, so he's a little older, a little older, you know. I, I would think you would cast someone at least, you know, 35, 36, sort of similar in age to David Cornsweet. But John, you know, he's not he's not too old. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Love you all. Stay safe. Mwah. Truth out.